Hi, this is Dr. Cynthia Colloin, and this is a session on fishing. No, I'm not fishing for fish. <laughs> Here we're talking about criminal attempts to get your private info through website links by clicking them, uh, email messages, looking at the attachments, looking at offers of money, and sending your private information. There could be a warning message saying, you must update your login, your password, your bank account, your <laughs> give us your stuff, right? Or you could be a contest winner, yay, congratulations, or have some free offer. And the problem here is these offers are too good to be true. Here's an example. Have you ever gotten an offer of money by email that said greetings to you, my dear friend? A donation was made to you by Name Withheld. I'm a businesswoman, the, the, the email sender will identify themselves and then there'll be a misspelling in the letter. And these misspellings actually came from a letter that came to me. I have just changed some of the names. <laughs> uh, uh, don't answer it. You're not getting $22 million. I'm sorry. Next, here's a condolence email phishing example. And this, the sad thing about this one is I just lost a friend. And of course, get this message, right? I've changed some of the info and it, there is no shady rest funeral home, but you see here, they want me to click that little here. And when I do, they've got me. <laughs> Don't click. So be skeptical, read and see if the message is authentic, verify the sender, but do not click any links. If it's a good sender, contact them directly, type in, the, the uh, website or whatever information to contact them. The message, if it's misspelled, uh -uh. if it's too good to be true, delete it. Remember, never ever send your login, your password, your social security number, your bank number, your VAT, your whatever, right? That's your information. Keep it personal and private. Visit your websites directly. Don't click and be safe out there. This is Dr. C wishing you a great time online and stay tuned for the next episode. Bye-bye.